Welcome when they come out. I can't explain to you how much joy this brings me. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out how things are made. Oh, this is how they make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Say it ain't so, I thought they were made with love. Look at that technique, that ain't love. The bread is overlapping, y'all don't even care. This is how y'all make school lunch sandwiches or the sandwiches I get at the airport. Why does this feel so disrespectful? I feel like I'm watching something I shouldn't have. They did this rolled ice cream with a Reese's cup. So just, you got one Reese's cup. That's it. Chop that bad boy up. Is it just cream? Do y'all put sugar in there? I'm gonna need the secret recipe. And then it's turned into mush. And then get it into rolling formations. Once it's nice and rectangular, that's the best part, it's ready. It's ready for the rolling. Oh, that is a nice roll. Nice little rug of ice cream. I always seem to forget how easy it is to make rolled ice cream. Yeah, you ain't never gonna see me do it. So they take the cream mix. Oh, this one's dry. Dragon fruit and mango. I ain't never seen a fruity one before. And then they on a frozen platter and then spread it out into like a rectangle. And then, oh, it just rolls so nicely. That spatula working harder than a father supporting a family of four. Y'all ever look at your laptop and be like, how did the factory like put this together and charge me $2,000? So there is a machine that prints the motherboard? Y'all printing it. Oh, so it's a stencil. If machines are doing all the work, why is it so expensive? It goes through 15 robotic machines to make sure like do 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 motherboard legit looks very nice. Yes, very powerful. Intel, okay. <laughs> I'm like scrolling through this video. I'm like, okay, this is kind of boring. Show me how you do the RGB. Okay, there's humans involved now. They put the whole laptop top together because apparently the machines, they can't be trusted with that. Oh, they hand install the FBI peeking window. I mean webcam. A laser etch machine. Prints all the little information, model number and everything on the back. And then you got somebody playing VR on your computer before you could even play anything. You know, just to make sure the colors are all working. She's touching all my keys. Make sure they're Ooh. sturdy. I bet you will never guess what they're making. They got all these eggs right. The world's largest omelet? No. 2021, we got automated egg crackers. Like they just be cracking all the eggs, no humans necessary. The perfect crack every time. I don't see a single eggshell fragment in there. Mix the batter. And look at this monstrosity. Eggs by the foot. Long omelet, long omelet. And they made cheesecake. Little cheesecake bites. That's a lot of egg. I thought a cheesecake was mostly cheese. It's just so majestic. Like look, look how long it starts out. Literally ropes. I'm trying to go factory direct. Buy a whole entire rope of cheesecake. Wrap it around my neck and eat it throughout the day. This is how capsule supplements are made. Pills, they all start off as powder. And just like a sausage or a hot dog, they put it in some casing. And then what bam pops out the pills in a bright blue new fit. Hey, I'm wearing blue too. When they make orange juice, apparently they use green oranges. Is that why it's so sour? Why are they green? Oh, that one has a slight tinge of orange. So I guess that's when they're the freshest. This dude looking for the perfect oranges. Green, perfect for that extra sour juice. Oh, you telling me they clean them first? How thoughtful. Spray them down with a hose. It's like when you check into prison, you get the same treatment. Our oranges, they nice and clean, fresh and ready for the juicing. Oh, um, and they just like moosh them on this machine. Y'all tell me you fresh squeeze just oranges and it's just orange to milk gallon. Y'all hand fill it. I'm not believing this for a second. If y'all ever had fresh squeezed oranges, it ain't taste nothing like the bottled kind. Like fresh squeezed oranges, delicious. But the bottled kind, it tastes nothing like the bottled kind, at least to me. Even when I go to a restaurant, they're like fresh squeezed oranges. No, 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 no. This, this is what I grew up on. Have y'all ever had this? The orange juice that's frozen in a can? This is how they make the pizza at Costco. If you've been to Costco, you know they got them huge pizzas. They ain't got gluten free though. It's so big that they need a tomato dispenser to just like roll its way on the pizza. Like y'all can't do this by hand. Y'all can't take a giant ladle and just like, they really be DJing the sauce on the pizza. All right, but I wanna see them put the cheese on. Y'all have seen these metal fences. If you're skilled enough, you can climb over them. So there's actually a machine that like twists and ties the pieces of wire together to like make it. I ain't never looked at a metal fence and was like, yo, how'd they make that? But fortunately for us, somebody on TikTok risked their tail to leak a few seconds of this. Forbidden footage. <laughs> Somehow they nod and tie them together. 
You know those heavy duty gloves? They got like the coating on the tips. So they dip them into this paint mixture ever so slightly. Rotate and dry. That was real nice, you know, just the tips. You know, a lot of ice cream places make waffle cones fresh. They actually start out as round waffle paper and while it's still warm, they just like roll it up and make the waffle cone. <gasps> this is how they make fluffy pancakes. These are souffle pancakes and they are the fluffiest pancakes you will ever digest. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gonna have to go back. So they squeeze it out of a tube. And the way it just sits on the griddle like that. They was raised in a loving home. And then they put like a cream on it. Brown sugar tapioca. Oh, that looks ooh. <gasps> It's like cutting into a cloud. This ain't even a pancake anymore. This is definitely ascended way past the pancake. I just came across this video and I wanted to show you guys of how they make this Tom and Jerry cheese cheesecake. It's literally holy cheese shaped cheesecake. As you can see, there are a lot of eggs involved, but no machine here. We got somebody hand crack a lock in these bad boys. You already know there's gonna be some eggshell in there, unless you are a pro. Oh, they, they one hand in it, so I think they're pretty good. Sugar, dog food bags full. Oh, and then they made the mixture. You know, if that was another color, it would be quite sickening. But ain't nothing in this world like a cheese cheesecake batter. Oh, you see how thick that is? I just want to like, mm. And then mix it all up. Very relaxing. I am calm, calmly waiting for my cheesecake to be done. But no, we have added more. Mix, 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 mix. More? Just put all of it in the first place. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to mush before you can add more. Have y'all never made a smoothie before? Oh, that egg plop. You hear the sound of that? Oh, we didn't even have eggs in this mixture yet. That was just cream cheese. Look at the molds. Do you see these molds? I have never seen a cheese mold before. And then do a little drip, drip, drip. It's not, ew. That one had a little flatulence. I don't like the sound. It's dripping all over the place. Bruh, wipe the tip. Behold, the molds are filled, ready to be baked. Oh, cook until golden brown. Look at this, look at this. When they come out of the oven, this is making me so hungry. Like, these look amazing. And then they melt white chocolate chips. Oh, they be looking moist. Kind of sound to look like wet macaroni shells. But I can assure you, it is white chocolate. Trust in the process. They put some orange food coloring in. Mix it on up and look, it's yellow now. Just like cheese should be. Mmm, forbidden highlighter juice. Okay, this is the best part. They take it out of the mold and then just coat it into the white chocolate coating. So it's cheesecake covered with white chocolate. I will literally cut a strand of my hair for one of these. I I'll go all the way here for one of these right this minute. Like grab me that cheesecake. Why don't we have this? Look, when they come out. I can't explain to you how much joy this brings me. That such a thing exists. But the sadness knowing that I can't have it right now. Oh, this is how they make ketchup. That's a lot of bottles. They ain't got labels on them. What brand? If it ain't Heinz, I don't want it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the best brand. So it starts out in the Netherlands. <gasps> they make 1.8 million bottles a day of ketchup. So what, are y'all feeding the entire continent with that? I mean, think about it. Whose household doesn't have a bottle of ketchup? Oh. So I thought there was tomatoes in there, right? They squeeze on this out and it's already, it's tomato paste. We just skipped over the part where you like wash and peel the tomatoes or maybe it just starts out as a paste And they squeeze it all out out of the world's largest ketchup packet These are the ingredients they use sugar vinegar tomato paste brine secret spices What are the secret spices the secret spices are tears of tomatoes? FBI open up this is Danielle Tra. Tra. She's the ketchup quality tester. You know, first gotta test the texture, the squeezability. Hey, yo, you got some chips in the back? Is she like a tomato scientist? She makes sure the quality is acceptable for your fries. So you ain't got no chicken nuggies in the back? Maybe some fries? A little piece of sausage? Or when you taste testing, do you just eat in the ketchup straight up? But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. Say hey, comment below. Let me know which one of these was the most interesting. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh!
I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.